Hey Cancer, thanks for joining me. We're doing a quick reading for you today. Using the tea leaf cards here. Okay, so we have Vulture. Depression, anxiety, a worry that someone is against you. Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. We have the flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Whoa. No. One more card for Cancer. One more card for Cancer, please. These are a little hard to shuffle because there's so many of them. respect will come to you. All right, let's see. Okay. I kind of feel like for some of you, um, you may have uh, just been coming out of some sort of ending of a situation that had you depressed, okay? But it, it seems like the energy is shifting this is going to open new doors for you where you're going to feel much more at home uh, appreciated that kind of thing so this could very well be talking about a job you may be having a lot of anxiety because of this let's see what is this vulture about vulture what is this vulture for cancer We have the Six of Swords. Whatever it is, you're moving on from this. So yeah, it, 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 it's something that happened in the past that, that I was picking up, that the energy has already passed. Um, whatever negative happened, you still may be dealing with the emotions. We have the Ten of Wands reverse. So yes, there was an ending. You let go of someone or something, some kind of situation here that was causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. You put this burden down because you know it was the best thing for your inner peace. The moon, this is your card. So yes, a lot of emotions involved here. Uh, there may have been a lot of fear. Um, three of cups. Mm. So th these are people that is, it could be co-workers, friends of yours, even family members. Very emotional situation there, but you've let go of it. Let's see Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead, we have the Two of Pentacles. So a lot of instability here. Maybe that's what has been causing these delays, whatever these delays are. But nevertheless, it seems like there is progress happening. Okay, yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So there's been some disappointment along the way in, in possibly a new endeavor or in you finding a new opportunity. Um, because I do feel that here with the new opportunities and possibilities being here, it's like this may have been something that you had been waiting for, taking a long time, but just know that it is coming. Some of you could be, again, Five of Cups is a, a card of depression. So it seems to be a theme here. I feel like there's there's something emotionally going on with you that is causing depression. So in other words, whatever this situation were, was, you were emotionally invested to it. Aside from that, I also feel um, a situation here, a lot of stress with regards to possibly your job um, or just your finances in general, maybe not having enough or that feeling of not having enough or not progressing. But we do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. They're both here in the upright. So it does show that there is progress. Now, granted, Ace of Pentacles, it is, you know, the, the number one. So it's really just um, a seed, a possibility. Um, and it's up to you uh, whether or not you cultivate that into something that turns into something substantial. Okay, um, and I see that that's where the frustration lies is in you not seeing uh, the progress happen quicker, 
quicker than it is, okay? But there may be a reason. Now at the bottom here, we do have the tower. So this could be a situation of like you starting something and having to destroy it, start from scratch and possibly multiple times, okay? So I do see the frustration there. If that's the case, that's very, very typical of, um, you know, things that happen during a retrograde. As you know, we are in a Mercury and a Venus retrograde, so that's like a lot more intense than our usual, uh, you know, retrograde period. So that makes sense, you know, and there is an explanation for that. Let's see what else. We have disappointment in a friend or lover. With the flute, yeah. Oof, ten of swords in reverse. So whatever this disappointment was, it led to an ending. Very painful ending, it looks like. We do have two tens here. So that is what has put you into this depression. We have the Queen of Wands. You could have been dealing with a um, Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, okay, but not necessarily. Um, this could have been, uh, I'm getting like um, butting heads, you know, ego related situation here, possibly. have the page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn it's in the reverse so i i feel as though yeah so this is about communicate there may have been like um one final argument with someone and then communication was cut off so either you block someone from communicating with you or somebody blocked you and this is why you're feeling disappointed I do feel like there was a heated argument before that, though. So you obviously would know, uh, you know, the reasons why. And we have the emperor in reverse. This could be an Aries, um, somebody that you respect. It could be a father, a husband, or this could just be, let me see here. Okay, interesting. So the queen is still here. I, yeah, I mean, I'm getting here, I'll be honest with you, I feel as though the frustration here is in you feeling like you have no control over the situation. Um, yeah, I'm getting the sense that, that you know, you, you wanted to steer something in a different direction or have some say in the matter and you didn't okay there was a complete lack of control here so if somebody stopped talking to you that could just be it you know that you felt like there was nothing you could do about it this person just blocked you you couldn't have access to them and so that is very frustrating for you but we do have new opportunities opening up here for you so i feel like the cards are saying just let this go whatever this is let this person the situation go and just move on because you know you otherwise you'll just be stuck here and it, especially if things are going slowly if you're giving your energy to this situation then the new stuff cannot come in so it'll cause further delays all right new opportunities what are these opportunities what does cancer need to know What does Cancer need to know? The Four of Pentacles reverse. Didn't I just say <laughs> you have to let go? Four of Pentacles is about, you know, holding on to some something like really tightly because you find value in this but there is no value here any longer okay you just need to let it go if you guys can believe it i've had these cards for about 30 years now this was my first tarot deck and i still have it <laughs> It's um, it's like my favorite, you know. My it, it's the one that fits most comfortably in my hands. So yeah. All right, 
we have the nine, no, sorry, the eight of wands, but it's in reverse. So again, this feeling of being stuck, again, this is also talking about communication. Eight of wands is about communication. In the reverse, there is none. So yeah, I, I just feel like you're really hung up on somebody not speaking to you. Oh, okay, we have the Ace of Cups reverse, so overly emotional. There may be tears um, because of this, this loss of touch between you and this other person. And it did lead to a lot of disappointment and sadness. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles here, reverse. <sighs> Whatever this was, it, it, it's uh, there's a history here. This uh, there, You spent some time cultivating this. But it just did not work out. <clears throat> and so uh, this is kind of saying, like, don't look back. Just keep going. There's nothing to look back at. Sorry if that's harsh, but that's what the cards are saying. Yeah. <sighs> you cannot make this shit up. Nine of Wands reverse. It's about giving up. The cards are saying, give it up. Let it go. Nothing there to be seen any longer. Look. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. It's spinning with or without you, so just keep going, okay? Crown, we have honor and respect will come to you. The high priest, which is the hierophant. King of Wands reverse here. Hmm. Let's see what else. So um, this could be, a uh, Taurus could be involved here. Um, I'm feeling though this is, let me see, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a, a, a very personal journey. Yeah, okay, so Five of Swords. There is something that you need to transcend, okay? You're in like a negative space right now. You need to transcend those feelings in order for, this has very much to do with like spiritual enlightenment. I'm feeling like maturity. Uh, I'm also getting here that I'm picking up on an energy of being a bit codependent, I have to be honest. So that could explain why you're so hung up on, on this one situation or this one person uh, who cut you off. Um, it's an indication that you're kind of looking for validation in someone. So even if that person wronged you, the fact that you're bothered or you keep going back to the, the fact that they don't want to talk to you anymore and that that continues to affect you, it's almost like you need that person's validation. You need that person to make you feel like you're worth speaking to in order for you to feel good about yourself. And um, that's where that, you know, we, we cross that line into codependency because it implies that you don't feel complete on your own. You need someone to, to kind of reinforce that. And so that's what this is talking about is that for you to get that honor and respect, you first have to find it in yourself. All right. Last card here. So, um, yeah, I, I'm feeling this is uh, really speaking about... self-reflection, self-improvement. You, you got to work on yourself. Yes. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords, some kind of truth. And uh, with the Nine of Pentacles here, it, it's definitely about you. <laughs> okay. The Nine of Pentacles is a card about independence, um, being self-sufficient. And so I feel as though the way that you're going to get this respect is just by being able to take care of yourself and not needing other people, either for material um, support or gain or, you know, just like I said, for validation. So the nine of pentacles could very well represent just energy, not necessarily, you know, anything. Um, I mean, usually it is tangible, but it can also be just energy. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I just feel like, I feel like this is about mental clarity, um, being clear on your ideals, what you are all about, and, and not wavering from that regardless of what's going on around you. So yes, let's see. Last card for Cancer. Final message for Cancer. What do they need to know? What does Cancer need to know?
Okay, we have two cards, trust and fulfillment. So again, I feel this is very much about you. We have thriving at the bottom of the deck. Your success is dependent on you solely, not anyone else. Your happiness is dependent on you solely, not anyone else. And so you just have to trust that. You have to trust and believe in yourself, in your capabilities of fulfilling your own life. I, I do feel as though there are opportunities, but it seems like it's very much dependent, like I said, on your personal growth process. There is uh, something that you need to understand, some truth that you need to face about yourself um, in order to get, you know, what it seems like what you're looking for is, you know, better opportunities, happier times, more respect from other people, admiration from other, other people. That's definitely there for the taking. There's just some work that you need to do on yourself first. Okay, I hope you enjoyed your reading, Cancer. See you next time. Bye.